All right, welcome to the next video where I'm going to show you how to use the post render function of your Elm Messenger Pro extension. Now, this is by far the biggest time and energy saver because it lets you quickly automate your outreach and gets you into conversations. And we all know that we need to be adding new people every single day so they can see our content and we can start having new conversations with new people. Just see where they are, what they're up to, and maybe they might be a potential fit for what we have. So because of that, you know, I personally always had the trouble, you know, going out, finding people, sending a friend request, sending the first message, waiting for them to reply, you know, and it was just so time and energy consuming that I was just hoping to find a tool like this. And in just a few minutes, I'm going to show you and walk you through exactly how you can use it, what you will need for that and how much of a time saver it is. So first of all, what you're going to need is a message template, which is going to be consisting of message settings. Segments. And I'm going to walk you through and give you an example, a live example of how I would do it. And you can basically replicate it if you want to as well. Next, you need to find a post where your target audience is hanging out, right? It can be inside of Facebook groups, it can be on fan, pay, fan pages, it can be of a profile from a you know, influencer or person where you know your target audience is hanging out the most. And then a few words of caution, you know, we're going to let it run for a few minutes. We can send it, you know, 15 to 20 friend requests in a session and you can do it one to three times a day. Obviously, you can do more if you want to, but just a word of caution. Do not go crazy. We had somebody who was sending 600 friend requests every single day over a time span of like 10 hours. Obviously, it's a you know long time span, but 600 friend requests, nobody does that on Facebook. And obviously, Facebook will put you into Facebook jail for doing stuff like that. So behave like a normal person. Send 15 to 20, maybe maximum of 25, 30 friend requests in a session, and then just do it one or two times a day, and you will be on the safe side. So with that said, let's just go into Facebook. Let's go into the um, L Messenger Pro extension, and I'm going to show you how you would set it up. So as I said, you will need to have a message template, which is going to be consisting of message segments. So one of the first few things that I would personally do is I would think about who do I want to connect with today? Maybe you have only one target audience, and this is the type of audience that you want to be connecting every single day. So you can create one template, one message template consisting of the same segments and, you know, just find different posts where this type type of audience you know might be hanging out now for me since i'm a reseller of the software i can find you know coaches i can find um high ticket fleet marketers i can find network marketers basically everybody who is using this software to be generating leads on facebook so i have a lot more opportunities to be finding the target audience in different groups but for this scenario we're going to just use people that are part of the online business world now this is not that specific, I would highly recommend doing it as specific as you can. So you have really something in common and it's just going to be so much more personal, right? But in this scenario, I just going to go with the general person who is part of the online business world. Okay. So for that, I would identify a post inside of my timeline from a person or inside of a Facebook group, right? where this person is hanging out now. But before we do anything here, we first obviously need to create the message template. And in order to do that, you can go into your extension again. Now you might have already created a tag. In this case, I have created affiliate marketer and I would just use it for this example right here. We would go into the pencil icon, create message segments first, right? And now you have the options to be creating message segments. And we have done that in the previous videos as well, but I'm just gonna give you, you know, another real life example. So let me just add a new message segment. And I've shown this to you that we have already global segments. So we already have the intro, which we're gonna be using in every single tag that we have, right? If we go inside here, we can see hey name, wavy um, emoji, hey name, smile emoji, hi name, hey name without emojis, hi name, smile emojis. And like different variations of the same message. So because we have already have the intro, we can just go into affiliate marketer, create message segments, and you can see I already have some, but I'm going to create new ones just for this example. So we're going to click on add message segment. Now we're first going to type in the segment title. Now let me just check affiliate marketing body online, online business 
body. Let's just do it this way. And I've already prepared a couple of examples right here. So we have three different variations of something that we have in common, right? So it says, looks like you're also part of the online business world. Decided to send you a friend request. Hope that's cool, smiley face. It seems like we are both part of the big old online business world. So I've sent you a friend request, looking forward to connect. I see you're also part of the online business world. So I decided to connect. So as you can see, three variations of sort of the same kind of message that has something in common with the person we are reaching out to. And since we're going to identify a post where we are sure that this is where our target audience is hanging out, this type of message will be resonating with all the people that have engaged, so liked and commented on this particular post, right? So once we have that, we can simply copy and paste that into here. So let me just take that and do a little bit of a smiley face, like a blush one. And then we're gonna click on plus and it's going to automatically put it inside of here. Let me just go back to my notepad here. I'm gonna paste that in. So we have no spaces here. Boom, and the last one. All right, we have a bit of space here. So we're gonna click on plus. And then now this is important click on save because if you don't click on save it's not going to save obviously and now what we have done we have now three different variations of sort of the same message which the software or the extension can now use to spin around so everybody is going to get a different kind of message in the unique message right so that way facebook is not going to going to flag us for copy and pasting the same message to people over and over again so we're going to click on save and now we have created online business body. Now, the next thing that we need to create is the online business question. Online business question. And I already have prepared a couple of them. So right here, how long have been part of it already? Right? How is your week going? What are you up to this week? What are you currently working on? So these are open-ended questions just to get them to respond to us and get a conversation going. Because once we have this initial conversation going, we can obviously go in and just, you know, behave like ourselves, just have a conversation like we would normally do, find out where they are, what they're up to, you know, maybe you can see that they have a need or, you know, identify a pain point that they have or just connect, build a relationship and get them to see your content. So this is really, really powerful. So let's just copy and paste. How long have you been part of it already? I'll click on plus. How is your week going? We can put a smiley face in here. Grinning like this. What are you up to this week? Like this. What are you currently working on? And plus. And now as you can see, we have four different variations of a question that is going to get included in the message we're going to be sending to people. So we're going to click on save. And now we have created different segments, right? We have the intro, which is a global segment. We have the online business body and we have the online business question. So now what we need to do, as I said previously, we need to have a message template, which is consisting of message segments. And we have already created the message segments right now. And now we only need to be creating the message template. So we're gonna go into our extension again, gonna go to the tag that we have, we're gonna click on this icon now. And this is where it is a little bit of importance of uh, now you can be tagging this is default button, right? Because we're gonna be using the post friender and everybody who is going to get a friend request and a message is going to get tagged with this, but, uh, with this tag right here, right? Because we have it as default, because we know that the next few connections that we're going to be doing are going to be with people that are having this specific tag. So we would click is default and it would override the last is default um, tag basically, right? So we're going to click on message templates, broadcast, and as you can see, I already have um, two different variations here. I'm just going to delete this one because we've created this. So this is the previous one that, that we have been using. Now we're simply going to click on the plus icon right here. And now we can see we have different segments right here. So first of all, we're going to take the intro. We're going to take the online business body. And we're going to take the online business question. And we're going to click on save. And that's pretty much it. And now we have two different variations of two different messages, right? As you can see, intro, affiliate marketing body and question, and intro, online business body and online business question. Now, what is also important is that we need to be clicking this little radio button right here, because it says the default message is used when sending friend requests. Basically, now what this means is that when we're going to be using the post friender, 
this is the message that is going to get sent out to the people we are using it on. So this is important to be clicking this. If you have multiple messages, just make sure that you are clicking the right one, because otherwise the one that is previously clicked will be going out to the people. But most of the time you might, you might only have like one of these messages inside of it for each um, tag that you have. So you might be good to go. So now that we have created message segments and put them into a message template, we can now go into the um, post or you know the, the Facebook group where a post is, and we can do the following. We can simply click on the likes of the people, and now it's going to pull up this menu right here, as you can see, right? And now what you can do is you can simply click on menu, click on the tag that you want to choose, Right. And we have already created affiliate marketer, uh, the tag, and this is where we have already created the template. And now we're going to choose the interval, right? This is basically how long it's going to take between sessions to be sending a friend request and a message. I highly recommend always going with the 15 to 20 seconds just to be on the safe side. You know, later on with when you've been using it for, you know, a longer time, you can obviously go a little bit faster, but I can highly recommend using it for 15 to 20 seconds. Now, a cool feature that they are planning to release sometime in the future is that it's only going to send friend requests to people um, living in tier one countries. So basically in the United States, New Zealand, Australia, et cetera. This is a really cool function that I'm looking forward to because sometimes we do not want to send friend requests to certain people because they're simply not in our target audience. Um, but just because they have engaged with this post, they will get a send friend request. So as you can see, it would now go into adding these kind of friends who already have, um, who don't have a friend request uh, yet, right? And it would go in, send them a message. And I'm going to show this to you just a second. So we can choose from 15 to 20 seconds. We have affiliate marketer. And what we're going to do is simply click on start. And now you can see it's going to send a friend request to John. It's going to pull up a new window with a message that we have already pre-written. And it's going to pull up the message right here. As you can see, it's going to say, hello, John. It seems like we are both part of the big old online business world. So I've sent you a friend request, looking forward to connect. How is your week going? And it's going to close the window and it's going to do the same with Lawrence. Now, I just saw that there is no space in between the two segments. So this is something that I would go in and, um, you know, just correct. Just so, it, so the message just looks, you know, neat and, um, no, right. So I'm going to wait for a few seconds. I'm going to show you a second. Lawrence has just got the friend request. It's going to pull up a new window. It's going to pull in the message. And there you go. It says, hello, Lawrence. It seems like we're both part of the big old online business world. So I've sent you a friend request. Looking forward to connect. What are you up to this week? And it's going to close it again. And as you can see, I'm not doing anything at the moment. You know, I just do this voiceover for you. So you get to see how powerful this tool really is. And now I can do, you know, whatever I want. I can, you know, go in and journal. I can go in and basically, you know, drink my coffee, read a book, whatever. Um, I do recommend to not be typing and messaging other people while you are uh, letting the software run, because there is an issue at the moment where once you start typing while it is pulling a message into this, that it might pull up another name, like it might pull up another first name right here, right? So it might interfere with what it's doing. So I'm going to just going to stop it right here. It might interfere with what it's doing. So this is why I highly recommend to not be typing while it is pulling up another window. You can do it in between it. So we have like 15 seconds in between every session uh, where you can you know, message with somebody else. But if I were you and you're just starting out, just you know, let it run for a few minutes, um, let it do a friend request and sending the, the, the messages. And while the, it does that, you can do something else. And then you're gonna come back and respond to all the people that have replied to you. And yeah, that's basically it for the friend poster, uh, for the post friender. I highly, highly recommend using this tool. Um, it's awesome. It's such a time and energy saver. And you can now just, you know, let it run for a few minutes and then simply come back to the people that actually want to have a conversation. And as I said, you can do it on posts um, inside of Facebook groups, inside of fan pages, inside of personal profiles. And there are just simply so, so many different variations, different options that you have with using this tool. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. 
And there's one more thing, if you cannot see it popping up for you, if you go onto um, like a post and you click on the engagement and you cannot see this, there has been an issue for me because I had the German Facebook before. And since the code is written for the English Facebook, um, it wouldn't pop up this window right here. So if you have not the English Facebook, um, there are two options. Number one, change it to the English um, Facebook so you can simply use it. Or number two, reach out to support, let them know what language you are having Facebook in and they will create most likely um, like a specific version just for you with the specific keywords in your language for the code. So this is just a little bit of a troubleshooting. Should you, so just, so that's just a little bit of a troubleshooting. Should you have any issues with the post render, you can always click on this icon right here. Simply go into chat support and chat support will be helping you out with any issues that you might have. So yeah, with that said, um, use it, love it, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.